Hello, my name is Iran and welcome to my channel. Every day I look at the new games that come out on Steam and then I look slightly into the future to see what's coming. A lot of them look very similar and seem to play very similarly, but some stand out for one reason or another. And this is what I've got to show you on games you might be missing. This game called Blastem looks incredibly cool. It's a VR 1v1 bullet hell shooter. You can just watch this really awesome trailer to understand all you need. You can look up the full trailer if you just look up the game. And honestly, if I had a VR rig and a friend with the same, I would definitely get this. It's available now for 10 bucks. I really love the original Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, but I really didn't like the original trailer they showed. Still, this is a very good looking remaster of an awesome game, it's by Criterion after all, and you can get it now for $15. It's a decent price for a remaster and it looks like a decent remaster. Tsuro is a filler game I used to play between big sessions in my local board game night. It's a neat, last person standing puzzle game to play with friends when you wait for a group to gather for a bigger game. At $10, the digital version can do the same. Just pull it up when you're waiting for friends and there you go. The first ziggurat had a great idea. A first person shooter roguelite. I played it a bit and found it cool, but not deep enough. Hopefully the sequel fixes that and makes things better. It definitely looks as fast paced and actiony as the first one. It's available now on early access for $16. Surviving the aftermath is giving me end zone vibes. It's a post apocalyptic strategic city builder, like Last Night on Earth with a little more passion in it. The world map even reminds me of Judgment. I know I mentioned a lot of other games here, but it's all to say that Surviving the Aftermath definitely looks interesting and something I would like to play in the future. It's currently on early access for $19. Mobius Front 83 is the new game from Zactronics. If you know Zactronics, you know to expect a deep, complex puzzle game that will probably take you several attempts per level to get right. Only this one looks more like Into the Breach, a turn-based strategy game with some funky elements. In any case, it looks cool. Available now for $15. And as always, if you like what I do, I would very much appreciate a follow on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash saberrunner or on my YouTube page, youtube.com slash saberrunner, or on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash saberrunnergaming. Thank you for watching, see you next time. Stay good, have fun.